Hi, everybody. A little, a little bit of crackola there. That's a nice way to start off in the uh, video. Uh, so in this video, we are working on um, the right wing tip still. So in the last video, we had uh, we had uh, trimmed down the edge of the wing tip, and we had uh, test fitted to the wing and actually drilled all the pilot holes for the number six screws. Uh, as you can see here, what I'm doing is uh, we're now cutting out the hole that the fly LEDs lights are going to be in. Which, you know, I don't really have a very fancy or very decent uh, jigsaw. I couldn't really do that um, here. So I just used my uh, drill and a whole bunch of step bits to cut all the holes I needed. And then I'm just using a nice rasp uh, file to finish it off by hand. And once I'm satisfied with the hole, then we're going to go ahead and fit the fly LED lights for this wing. Once we know that they are fit, we're done. Well, we're done with the hole anyway. Uh, and once the hole is set and we're happy with it, then we can go ahead and uh, put the lens uh, back on top, the nice plexiglass lens that we worked on s several who knows ago, uh, videos ago. Uh, we will be drilling the test pilot hole for both sides of the tip using our special number 40 bit that we created by putting it into the drill and running that bit in the drill while holding it up to the edge of the bench grinder to make a nice 60 degree uh, tip. Most of these uh, bits that we have are 135 degree bits and plexiglass doesn't react well to those. It can shatter, crack, you, you don't want that. So uh, you want a nice 60 degree bit. Normally you can actually buy plexiglass bits but why buy one when I've got a bunch of spare old 40s laying around that I can just uh, make. So once you drill those holes through, that's great. Uh, you then enlarge them to a number 27 because that's the size of a number 6 screw. Uh, you can then use that uh, and one of, the, uh, numbers, uh, one of the nut plates. It's the exact same nut plate that we're using around the edge of the wing tips to hold them into the wing. Uh, and then you can put your nut plate on uh, with the squeezer and then Bob's your uncle. And now that we've got that all sorted out, I took the wing lens off because I don't want to fudge that up any more than I already have and it can, it's going to sit for a long time. So now we're going to be putting on all of the nut plates. And this is a very tedious thing. So basically, we have to. They're, they're all number 40 holes drilled all the way around. Those are the pilot holes from the holes in the wing skin into the wing tip. Uh, you then enlarge those to number 27 and use the aforementioned uh, kind of rig that I made with the nut plate. The number 6 uh, screw holds the nut plate in place, and you can drill two number 40 holes lickety split. And then move down, do that again, then go back and rivet everything in. And then you've got all these nut plates, and it's great. Uh, after that, we'll actually go and drill the number 27s into the wing, and then later on we will dimple those, and after countersinking... So you put the nut plates on the wing tip, you make sure that the holes in the wings are number 27 and that they're dimpled for number 6 screw, then you have to countersink the holes in the wing tip because you want the uh, dimpled skin to actually fit onto the fiberglass which is great. You do that, and then the wing tip will f fit simply in. And later on I will show some, well not in this video, but later I will show you some pictures. It, it, it fits great, just like the other one. Uh, also, uh, for those of you that have lasted this long, if you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to see something very funny. Uh, we got a nice new toy here in the at the club. Uh, you know, we've got five planes, and we've got one mechanic, and myself, and uh, you know, tugging around planes by hand, giant pain in the ass. I mean, you know, let's pull 1,600 pounds of very precious aluminum around by hand. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, giant pain. So, we've bought an electric uh, tug, and it works great. Very powerful, Front, forwards or backwards. Anyway, at the end of the video, you'll see me uh, <laughs> soon here uh, playing with it.
So there I am quickly deburring all the number uh, 40 holes. You don't need to deburr much, so that's where you actually have it so that you can, uh, so that all of the rivets for the nut plates will be flush. It only takes like a split second. So what I've done is I actually just did it in the drill. And I put my countersinking bit in the drill, and then it takes like one second just to get the right depth. And you, you saw me just fly through them. It's, it's very simple. Anyway, we're almost done with that. Uh, in the next video, you'll see the finalization of putting this on. But uh, now for your viewing pleasure, here comes me practicing with our tug. So enjoy.